Each pump contains six valve assemblies. The lower ports are the inlet valves. The upper ports are the discharge valves. Both the inlet and discharge valves are identical. Two valve kits are required to service the pump. To begin, remove the valve plugs using a 41 mm hex wrench. After removing the valve plug, inspect the O-ring and backup rings for cuts, nicks, or damage. A new O-ring and backup ring are included in the valve kit. Next, remove the coil spring, followed by the washer. To remove the valve assembly, use a 10 mm bolt and thread into the top of the spring retainer. Using a pliers, grasp under the head of the bolt and pull complete valve assembly from manifold. During removal, the spring retainer may separate from the seat. If this happens, remove the spring and valve by hand. To remove the valve seat, use a reverse pliers. Insert the contact surface of the reverse pliers to the inside of the valve seat. Use a twisting motion while pulling away from the manifold to remove. Before installing the valve assembly, thread the 10 mm bolt into the valve retainer. Apply liquid gasket to the O-ring and backup ring on the valve seat. Install the valve assembly into the valve chamber and press into place. Remove the 10 mm bolt from the spring retainer. Reinstall the washer, followed by the coil spring. Before reinstalling the valve plug, Using a small screwdriver or pick, replace the O-ring and backup ring provided in the valve kit. Install the new backup ring, followed by the O-ring. Before reinstalling, apply liquid gasket to the O-ring and backup ring on the valve plug. Use a 41 mm hex wrench to tighten the valve plug. When tightening, ensure that the backup ring stays in place. Then, torque to specification. If you are servicing the valve assembly, begin by separating the spring retainer. There are two methods that can be used to separate the spring retainer from the valve seat. The first method is to insert a flat tip screwdriver through the spring retainer just above the valve and turn the screwdriver to create a small gap between the spring retainer and valve seat. The second method is to use a 10 mm bolt and thread through the spring retainer. As you tighten through the spring retainer, it will make contact with the valve and then create separation. After removing the valve retainer, inspect for cracks, excessive wear, or damage. Inspect the spring for proper tension or damage. Inspect the tapered surface of the valve for wear, pitting, or damage. Inspect the tapered surface of the valve seat for wear, pitting, or damage. Inspect the valve seat O-rings and backup rings for cuts, nicks, or damage. To reassemble the valves, start by placing the valve seat onto a flat surface with the tapered side facing up. Place the valve onto the valve seat with the tapered side facing down. Position the spring onto the valve. Place the spring retainer over the spring and tap onto valve seat using a rubber hammer. Before installing the valve assembly, thread the 10mm bolt into the valve retainer. 
apply liquid gasket to the O-ring and backup ring on the valve seat. Install the valve assembly into the valve chamber and press into place. Remove the 10 mm bolt from the spring retainer. Reinstall the washer, followed by the coil spring. Before reinstalling the valve plug, using a small screwdriver or pick, replace the O-ring and backup ring provided in the valve kit. Followed by the backup ring. Install the new backup ring, followed by the O-ring. Before reinstalling, apply liquid gasket to the O-ring and backup ring on the valve plug. Use a 41 mm hex wrench to tighten the valve plug. When tightening, ensure that the backup ring stays in place. Then, torque to specification.